Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Florida State as a 13-0 conference championship team left out of the college football playoffs. And I, I kind of want to start with this is this is me kind of coming as a college football fan. I get up here and talk about, kind of leave the bias at the door and talk about the matchups that I see, the numbers that I see, and, and talk about college football through my lens. I'm also a college football fan. And this, this kind of, I'm gutted for the Florida State players, the Florida State coaches, the Florida State fans. Uh, this is a team that deserved to be in the college football playoffs and kind of had that, that, that right stripped away from them because the committee figured that they weren't a top four team in college football because they lost Jordan Travis. And you can get into the argument was, well, is Florida State a top four team in the country without Jordan Travis? I guess what I'm coming to you at and saying is it shouldn't matter because they deserve to be in the college football playoffs. And that's why the games are played in the regular season. And what they did in the regular season was certainly enough to be in the college football playoffs and the committee takes it away. A really frustrating conversation to have. Before we get into it, again, just want to, one, just a sincere thank you to the Florida State fans. This has been a pro – many of you guys have been listening for a while, a, a program and a team that I felt was really special. You had guys like Jordan Travis and Jared Verse come back to not only win an ACC championship, but win a national championship, make the college football playoffs. And, and that that goal kind of un, unjustly taken away from them. So I want to get into kind of what, what went on with the committee, my kind of takeaway on it. Again, appreciate you guys. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Florida State fans, I mean, through the highs and lows of the season, you guys have always rocked with the boys. Cannot thank you guys enough for all the support. And without further ado, let's get into it now. I mean, the first conversation I want to have is the precedent of the college football playoff committee taking away the the importance of the regular season games. This was a why would Florida State decide to play a neutral site game against LSU week one if that doesn't matter in terms of getting them into the college football playoffs? My biggest frustration is one, I mean absolutely gutted for a Florida state team and the players that just went 13 and zero, played a phenomenal regular season and now don't have the opportunity to play for their, their top goal of, of winning a national championship because a bunch of people in a room, uh, just like you and I college football fans decided that this Florida state team is all of a sudden not a top four team in the country. And you can have that argument. And I have a lot of friends who I was texting last night and texting this afternoon about the college football playoff selection and say, yeah, Florida State's not a top four team in the country. And as a, as a Michigan fan, if you were to ask me, give me the truth, Sam, who I'd rather play Alabama or Florida State without Jordan Travis, I, I probably would say I'd rather play Alabama, right? But that shouldn't matter when you're selecting the teams to play for the college football playoffs. It should be what they earned throughout the regular season and their conference championship game, and nobody can stand up there and say that Florida State didn't earn it. And then what I would challenge a lot of the fans, a lot of college football fans saying, well, we want to see really good matchups in the semifinals, and we don't think Florida State would give us that. What I would challenge those people who are thinking that, whether you're a Georgia fan, whether you're an Ohio State fan, whether you're a Michigan fan, what if that was your team? And your, your, your quarterback gets knocked out late in the season. You go on to w win your conference championship and go undefeated. And that opportunity to play for a national championship gets taken away. It, it's not right. And I think a lot, of other, a lot of other fan bases would be feeling the exact same way Florida State fans feel if they were in those shoes. So, I, again, I under, do I, I'm not going to sit here and say I don't understand what other people are saying in terms of Florida State not being a top four team in the country. No, I, I get it. But I'm just saying that games in the regular season should matter. And if you go undefeated and win your conference championship, you earn the right to play for a national championship. And it's just so frustrating to see the college football playoff committee decide that the regular season for Florida State doesn't matter because they lost their starting quarterback week 10 of the college football season. The next kind of conversation I want to have is this Florida State team is a lot more than Jordan Travis. And I'm not going to get up here and, and say that Jordan Travis isn't one of the best players at the college football level because he is. And I'm not taking away anything from Jordan Travis, but you look at this Florida State team as a whole. I mean, two NFL wide receivers and Keon Coleman, Johnny Wilson, and NFL running back and Trey Benson. More importantly, the defense for Florida State, a, a unit that never got talked enough about because Florida State's offense was putting up such good numbers. Take a look at this defense. 
This is a national championship caliber defense, only allowing 15.9 points per game, number six in the country. 4.6 yards per play, 10th in the country. A completion percentage against opposing quarterbacks of 47%, number one in the country. Sacking the quarterback, 11.6% of their dropbacks, number four in the country. I mean, they were pretty much the only defense we saw all year that could contain a guy like Jaden Daniels on LSU, who's probably going to win the Heisman Trophy. Yes, is Florida State the same team without Jordan Travis? No one's arguing that. But there's a lot of other aspects of this team that make them a national championship caliber team. We weren't talking about Florida State winning a national championship just because of Jordan Travis. Going back to our 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 episodes in, in July and August when we talked about Florida State being a special team, yes, Jordan Travis was on the list. What else was on the list was Keon Coleman and Johnny Wilson and Trey Benson and Jared Verse and Braden Fisk, who just had three sacks and four and a half tackles for a loss against Louisville. Now let's look at that Louisville game. I mean, you go to a neutral site in an ACC championship game with your third string true freshman quarterback and go win that football game. Did it look pretty on offense? Absolutely not. Would it look pretty for any college football team who had to start their true freshman third string quarterback in a, in a conference championship game? It wouldn't look pretty. But what did Florida State do? They figured out a way to win. And they went up against the Louisville offense that was scoring almost 30 points per game and held them to six points and 188 total yards of offense all game. I guess my point is that this Florida State team, and it, it pains me to see this Jordan Travis tweet where he's saying, I wish I had broken my leg earlier in the season so this Florida State team had more time to show that they were more than just a quarterback. To have Jordan Travis have to tweet that, like as a college football fan, it has to I kind of break your heart a little bit. I mean, this Florida State team was a lot more than Jordan Travis. And again, not taken away from how great of a – team or player Jordan Travis was, but more highlighting that this team was great for other reasons than Jordan Travis. I had a schedule. I had, a, I had some talking points on my note sheet. I tried to stick to them. I guess I will round out by saying it's disappointing that the college football playoff committee is setting this precedent and more importantly, just gutted for the Florida State players, the coaches, the fans who deserve the right to play for a national championship in the college football playoffs. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys again. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. We'll be talking a little Florida State transfer portal later on this week. Got it for y'all. Appreciate you guys, and we'll talk to y'all later. Peace.